Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about delegation in object oriented programming. In this video I will explain what is delegation, what are the advantages of delegation and when to use delegation. So if you are willing to learn delegation then this video is for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin this video with the very first question that what is mean by delegation? So guys, in context to object oriented programming, delegation means to hand over certain responsibility for a particular task to another class or method. In addition to it, it is a technique where an object exhibits certain responsibility to the outside world but in reality it delegates the responsibility to another object which implements that behavior or responsibility. So long story short. Delegation is a technique in which an object exhibits certain responsibility to the outside world but in reality it does not implement that responsibility rather it delegates that responsibility to another object that actually implements that behavior or responsibility. So guys if this definition is not clear to you do not worry I will explain delegation with a very simple example. So let's head over to IDE where I will show you delegation in action. So we are on the IDE. So here you can see that we have one interface and this interface is acting as a contract for printer okay and this interface has one method print and this method is responsible for giving an implementation of printing feature okay. Now we have two printers one is Canon and one is HP. These two printers implement the iPrinter interface which means this printer is obeying the contract of iPrinter. So that is why this printer is giving implementation of print method right. Apart from this method this printer also has few more methods which is used for resetting the printer and cleaning the printer right. Similarly we have one HP printer. This printer is also following the same contract and overriding the same method okay. And then this printer also has few methods like reset and clean for resetting printer and cleaning printer okay. So this is all about the contract that is interface and two concrete classes that is Canon printer and HP printer. Now we have one printer controller class okay. Now printer controller class is also implements the iPrinter interface which means this class also has to give implementation of print method right. But if you look at the constructor of this class you will see that this controller constructor is taking an instance of printer okay. And then instead of giving the implementation of print method it is simply delegating the responsibility to the printer object which it is getting from the constructor. So which means using delegation the printer controller exhibits certain responsibility to the outside world but, but in reality the implementation is not exist in the print method of the print controller class. This class is simply delegating the responsibility of printing content to the printer object as simple as that. Now the question over here is the same thing we can also achieve using inheritance right. We can inherit uh, from Canon printer or HP printer and we can use the same responsibility. Then why are we using the delegation? Well there are many reasons that force us to use delegation instead of inheritance. And the first reason is let's say in inheritance we have a class and if I talk about this uh, example we have Canon printer. And this printer has three methods print, reset and clean. If we use inheritance instead of delegation then we are forced to accept these two methods. But perhaps maybe we do not want to accept these two methods. So this is a reason we are using delegation instead of inheritance. Now the second strong reason is we get the runtime flexibility using delegation. Why is it so? At runtime if we want to change the delegation behavior from Canon printer to HP printer we can change it. Let me show you in action. So let's say I have created an instance of printer controller and this time this printer controller is delegating responsibility to HP printer and we are printing content on the screen. So far so clear. Now let's say I want to change the delegation from HP printer to Canon printer okay. So we can so we can change the delegation at runtime. Now I can print using Canon printer. Let's use the same statement and just replace it with Canon 
okay run the program so you will see that at run time we are changing the delegation behavior before we were printing from hp printer now we are printing from canon printer so this is the second reason why we chose delegation over inheritance now the next question that comes in our mind that what are the advantages of delegation so the number one advantage of delegation is as there are many implementer of the common behavior right for example canon printer and hp printer now tomorrow if we introduce new changes in any of the implementer or all of the implementer then our delegation will still be operational it will not going to directly impact the delegation why is it so because we are only using a particular behavior of a implementer we are not using the entire implementer in case of our example we are only using the print method of canon printer or hp printer so this is the major advantage of delegation over inheritance and the second advantage of delegation is as i showed you just now that we can leverage multiple implementer at the same time so while running the program we can change the implementer as per our need so these are the two advantages of delegation now the next question that comes to our mind that when to use inheritance versus delegation well if you want to establish is a relationship with a class then you can always use inheritance right because inheritance is perfect for establishing is a relationship between objects now let's say if your parent class is final and now you cannot extend that class so in that case you can use delegation over inheritance because you cannot extend class it is better to use delegation now the third reason is so let's say there is a class and that class has multiple behaviors but you do not want to change any of the behavior of that class in that case you can also use delegation instead of inheritance so guys overall delegation makes our code modular it is easy to test easy to maintain easy to understand and on top of that delegation help us in changing behavior at run time and if we are looking for some behavior that is already exist in the system then we can reuse that behavior using delegation without needing to write that behavior from scratch so guys by now i hope the concept of delegation is clear to you now you understood that what is delegation why are we using delegation instead of inheritance and what are the advantages of delegation so this is all from my side for this video if you learned something valuable from this video then hit the like button in order to make youtube algorithm happy please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next one